I don't always feel like painting. I don't always feel like getting out the paints and the pencils and the brushes and the water and the cleanup and all of the materials. I don't always feel like doing that. In fact, more likely than not, I, I'm too lazy to get all that stuff out and then, but I still want to be creative. So what do you do when you don't feel like painting? Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do. And here's a little reminder, inspiration of the things that I do to stay creative and inspired without getting out all of my paint and crap, <laughs> all the paint stuff, because I hate cleaning it up and I hate leaving the mess. And um, I love art and I love being creative and I love being artistic, but I don't always want to get out my paints and get messy. So here are some things that I do um, to stay creative. So. I hope some of these can inspire you, but you, maybe you do them already. Maybe you do all of these things. Maybe there's a couple things you didn't actually think of as being creative or artistic in some way, but you know, here's some things you can do when you're too lazy to get at your paints. <laughs> okay, so just for context, here is my workspace, my desk that I like to make art on. And as you can see, it's not that big. So I already have a bunch of stuff, like supplies that are out all the time. They don't ever get put away but if i was to bring out all my paints it would take up the entire desk and it would just be too messy and no room for me to work on my computer i love books i have so many different kinds of books and i really go to my books for inspiration when i need it um, and i have all different kinds of books like stuff that's visual flip through with pictures some things that i have that i like to learn from when I'm learning about a certain topic. Um, I have a lot of educational and self-help books. Um, there's just so many kinds of books that you can get. This is just a, kind of a quick little shot of where all my books are on my bookshelf. There's some good old classics I'll never part with. And then there's all my woo-woo books because I love that stuff too. But uh, I just go to books also when I need, um, you know, quick, little pick-me-up of inspiration and then the other thing I go to here and I've shown it before in another video is these magazines about um, women artists and then their studio space and I really find them inspiring it gets kind of the creative juices flowing in my mind of well if all these women can become successful artists then that's something that I can do too and I see their spaces and I'm like you know, there there is a way to become creative in your daily in your daily life, and that it's possible. So this one's not so much. It is creative because it makes me think creatively about all the things I want to do, but it also inspires me to keep going and not to give up on my creativity. Another thing I love to do is to color in the coloring books, and these ones are really cool. Sorry about the the lighting there, but. Um, these are cool because you're working with color theory, so it might not be drawing the artwork, but deciding like what colors go together and and how to make it look visually pleasing and just working with color theory in general. It's definitely being creative even if you're not creating the art yourself. Like this one has all kinds of tiny little like little spaces to color and so it's also a combination of being very meditative and creative at the same time. So just get out your coloring books, friends, and just get creative as well. Now, another love of mine besides art is vintage. And I love collecting vintage, shopping for vintage, and then decorating with it. So home decor and decorating and all that stuff just brings me so much joy and it's definitely a very creative thing to do because you're working with arranging all different size shapes colors textures and just arranging it in a way that's just really pleasing to your eye and the fun thing about it is that you can move things around as often as you want they don't just have to stay there in one place like if one day you get bored you can take everything off of your shelves and then you can work on 
redecorating them again and put them together in a whole different way. And here's just another little little vignette by my TV that I have. I just love vintage. They just it just brings me so much joy. There's like so much creativity and workmanship in all of these pieces. And I don't think that I can ever stop uh, collecting vintage because it just, I don't know, to me, I just think about the people that made the stuff as well and the creativity that those people always had. And then that just keeps me inspired and wants me to be more creative as well. So I love vintage. Now, Another thing I like to do, and maybe it's not so creative as, as it is inspiring, and I don't, if you, I don't know if any of you are as addicted to I am with Pinterest, but Pinterest is definitely my go-to for when I just want to procrastinate um, and maybe, maybe waste time, but also get inspired because I love Pinterest for the ideas that it can bring me, things I've never thought about, like maybe color combinations or a technique of painting or drawing or just a uh, subject matter that could inspire me um, you know like a little dog or a woman in the water or like I've done sardine painting as well I've done a drawing of sardines so that's kind of funny but it just brings me um, when I get stuck and I don't know what to paint or draw or or make I definitely go to Pinterest and let it just kind of spark my inspiration and you know get all kinds of ideas from there I'm not going to like steal people's work or anything but I do love to get inspired and I also love to see like what other people are doing because on this little look at this guy look at that face and sometimes it just makes me laugh so um, Pinterest is definitely a place that I spend a lot of time when I am just trying to figure out what's going to inspire me or what I want to create next so don't forget check it out check out Pinterest when you need a little a little pick me up of inspiration I know that I've spent a lot of time here so you might be thinking well you're not even creating any art at all Michelle what the heck have you been doing if you're not painting well, I have been doing a lot of digital artwork and the reason I haven't been filming a lot of videos is because I haven't been painting, but I've been doing a lot of digital art and I haven't been filming it because I always forget, but I also think maybe you won't find that as interesting <laughs> if I'm not actually creating physical art. So I don't film it and I forget to, but I've been doing a lot of work on my iPad here with my Procreate app and my Apple Pencil. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff I've just been playing around with a lot of different kind of like digital and more graphic kinds of of art and I've been loving it. There's so many things I can do. I've just started getting into um, like repeat patterns because I'm hoping that I can kind of build a portfolio. Here's my first example of a repeat pattern I make. So this tiles into like a bigger pattern. and here it is showing like um, the bigger pattern but it's so interesting and I love doing it so I'm hoping to make a lot more repeat patterns on the road that I can use for like a licensing portfolio so that's what I've been up to digitally and then the last thing that I like to do and I usually only do this at Christmas time because I get obsessed and I can't stop until a puzzle's done but I love doing puzzles but I will stay up till like the wee hours in the morning because I'm determined to get these things finished. So I do obsess about them and then it takes up all my time. So uh, I only do them really at the holidays if I can, but I just love doing puzzles. Okay, let me know what you guys do to stay inspired when you don't feel like getting out your paints. I'd love to hear about it in the comments so we can share with everybody some great ideas to keep creative and keep inspired. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take care.